Hi everyone. It's impossible to be a genius from birth. You can only become one by studying really hard. But some time ago, scientists started noticing certain features common in all geniuses. And we're not talking about messy hair, huge ugly glasses, or high-waisted pants. It's more about their behavior and habits. So look closely at yourself. Who knows, maybe you're a genius. Today, we're gonna show you 10 ways science tells you that you're not a usual human, but a genius. Let's get it on. Anyway, there'll be joy in cookies for everyone. Press it, press it and you won't regret it. Sense of humor. <laughs> a study on people's perception of attractiveness revealed that students who get high marks in abstract thinking and verbal intelligence tests are also good jokers, and that makes them more attractive. <laughs> so don't be afraid to joke, and hopefully if it is funny, people will call you a genius, or a clown, who knows staying up late. If you like to sleep till lunchtime and your top activity is at night, give yourself a plus. You've moved one step further in our genius ranking. The majority of brilliant minds are owls, not early birds. Maybe that's why great talented people suffer from insomnia. When you sleep only by day, what can you do at night? Write, work and create. Laziness. Everyone will love this one. To be honest, it's hard to believe that we're talking about genius people, but scientists say that brilliant people are lazy. This also has a scientific explanation. Too many thoughts and intellectual operations lead to physical apathy and tiredness. That's why you have to lie around and do nothing from time to time. Although geniuses, there is another side to this. Laziness attacks are followed by bursts of hyperactivity. Stupid hobbies. Having a useless, weird hobby is another sign of geniusness. If you make piles of paper cranes or collect calendars instead of saving money, you might be a genius. For example, Angelina Jolie has been collecting knives ever since she was 12 years old. And Mark Zuckerberg, creator of Facebook, gives a shit and finds new hobbies every year. By the way, according to scientists, it's essential for geniuses to have hobbies. That way, they distract themselves a little and soothe their nerves. Sloppiness. Oh my God! It is reflected in everything. House, clothes, hair, hands, ag nails, chips nails, ew. A genius would rather bite an ag nail off than get some scissors. Studios and offices of brilliant people often resemble a dump. But a recent research revealed that a cluttered up table can lead to a more creative thinking. And the sloppy workers choose new tasks and projects more often. For example, Mark Twain was really scruffy. Sound perception. <laughs> it's considered that geniuses get furious when people make noises while eating. People champing, chewing with the mouth open, or slapping the lips are quite disgusting for everyone. But if you get really angry sitting next to such a chewbacca, then you're probably a genius. According to different studies, brilliant people are very sensitive to sounds and perceive them more acutely than other people. Urge for traveling. Yes, this is also a sign of geniality. Talented people can't stand sitting home. They like to travel all the time. And this is absolutely right, since traveling gives us good memories and food for our brain, if it's hungry, of course. Alcoholism. Another trait is, unfortunately, a tendency for bad habits. Yes, many geniuses suffered from drug and alcohol abuse. Great French philosopher Jean-Paul Sartre smoked two packs of cigarettes, a few pipes of black tobacco, over a liter of strong alcohol, including whiskey and vodka, 200 milligrams of amphetamines, barbiturates, and liters of tea and coffee on a daily basis. No wonder that the author of Nausea ended up in the hospital with nervous exhaustion. So don't get sucked into this, and don't go overboard. Blue eyes. Not only your actions and judgments reveal your ability of thinking outside the box, but also your eye color. Joanna Rowe, Professor Emeritus at the University of Louisville in Kentucky, found that people with blue eyes are more likely to be strategic thinkers than their peers with darker eye colors. Rowe says she came to this conclusion after long research. Automatic doodling. Just when we thought the only good thing about doodling was reducing stress, we found a study proving that people with higher IQs turn to pencils and scraps of paper in times of need too. 
According to researchers, people with high intelligence need alternative processes for their intellectual output. The thing is that you're doodling because your brain wants to do something, and the more active your brain is, the more extraordinary and smart you are. So when you're drawing smiley faces and hearts, remember, your brain is processing another genius thought. Thinking before sleep. The next trait is the habit of going through these same situations and thinking of different outputs. If you can't sleep because you're overthinking, and every time the negative situations in your mind are getting gloomier, then you're not a pessimist, you're a genius. Funny and careless people don't worry by definition, and that's why they're more disadvantaged intellectually than neurotic people. These thoughts are caused by spontaneous brain activity, and the higher the activity is, the more of a genius you are. That's all for today. By the way, don't forget to press the bell, and we'll see you in a couple of days. Your mind is my warehouse.